Hey guys, Josh here from Mad Charcoal. Today I'm just going to be drawing with only a piece. This is a broken piece of um, General's Charcoal, one of the fatter sticks. I like to work with them because they have a lot of surface area. I'll use a smaller one. Um, this is the only thing I'm going to use besides a needed eraser just to make some highlights and whatnot when I need it. But other than that, it's just going to be this piece of charcoal. This is all you really need to make a finished drawing. Here's my reference that I'm working with. And so <clears throat> let's get right into it. I like the shadows in this reference and the uh, shapes of the light and the angle. That's why I picked it. I'm going to start off with sketching where I, if I squint, wherever I'm squinting and I see a big dark area, I'm just going to block that in. Um, this is not complicated, not over complicated. I'm trying to get my angles right and <clears throat> the shapes of the shadows. Accurate. Work the large shapes before you work the smaller shapes. A lot of people get really caught up in what materials you work with, and really, it only you don't you don't need anything specific. Um, obviously, it can make it easier, or it can make you do things that you can't do with other things. But in my opinion, you can draw good with just the very basics. It's all about your skill and what you have in your mind. It's not so much about what materials you have because. You can hand a, a normal person that's not an artist, um, uh, a, a master set of oil paints, and it's not going to make much of a difference for them. They're still going to not be able to make a master painting, right? But you can sometimes hand a master artist one little object or piece of material that maybe a piece of burnt wood you found in the campfire, campfire, and hand them a piece of paper and you could give you a masterpiece. So, it's all about you. It's all about <clears throat> how much you're willing to work and learn and grow as an artist to be able to make something that is beautiful, that is masterful, well thought out. Nicely created piece of art. I'm gonna use my hand to just blend some skin tone in there. Lovely. Okay. Establish some more of those shadows. I'm using this edge of my charcoal here because I think that it's nicer. It's almost like painting if you're using a bigger space and not just the edge and making line by line by line by line. That leaves a lot more room for error. And, um,. <clears throat> You might not get exactly what you're looking for in the big picture. Let's go really dark and really dramatic with these out shadows out here. So let's do that. I think it adds a little cool dimension to it. Makes it a little more interesting, I think. I can blend it in. Break these edges up. You just gotta keep working it. The whole thing, you can't work too much on one smaller area because then you're gonna unbalance the drawing and you want it to stay balanced. You can totally come back in and make one part of it very detailed, but but it's uh, it's important to work the whole thing until you have a very good foundation and established for the entire drawing. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. There's an artist I really like. His name is um, he goes by the name Gorilla Brigade. On Instagram, he makes some cool charcoal drawings that inspire me sometimes. And sometimes I take a little bit of his technique and steal it from him because I steal from artists I like sometimes, technique-wise. It's a little bit less uh, realistic than what he usually does. I'm taking this kneaded eraser now. I am popping in some highlights, some highlights that I lost so that I can make it a little more um, dramatic and 
I don't really use the eraser much for for mistakes because mistakes can be worked through. You can't work too dark right away. That way you can um, draw over your mistakes without needing to erase. But if uh, you could pop in some more highlights that otherwise you wouldn't be able to have with a needed eraser. I count it as, it's technically another material, but it's really nice to have. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna highlight these little spots. Don't go too bright with your highlights, otherwise you're gonna start to make it seem fake and a little bit too aggressive on the highlights and a little artificial. So make sure you're nice and soft with these highlights and we'll be sensitive with them. Don't just drop them everywhere you can. People pay attention to the lights more than they pay attention to the shadows. That's why you can leave these shadows real rough. Nobody will, it won't bother anybody. And you can make these, um, these highlights and these lit areas a lot more detailed and it'll naturally seem a lot more poetic, a lot more balanced everybody looks to the light nobody wants to look in the darkness so you can get away with scribbling darkness and beautifully imitating the light i think it makes it a little bit more interesting it gives ice some rest hmm. yeah what might come back in a little bit with a piece of charcoal again and just clean up some of these edges and these Details just a little bit. It's a bit of a dramatic light. Not too many soft shadows. They're all pretty hard, harsh. But I'm liking the way that it's, the way it's communicating. Looks like there's a little bit of a break here that I don't need. So I'll blend that in a little bit, but maybe a little bit more once over with uh, the softening. It's a little too bright for my taste. I want to bring it down just a little bit. Try not to lose those highlights I erased in earlier. And yeah, I'm satisfied with that. What do you guys think? Just one material, this, this piece of charcoal and then pulling it away with this uh, kneaded eraser on Strathmore 400 series drawing paper. You could use whatever paper you like. I prefer to be in between smooth and rough like this. Um, some charcoal paper tends to be a little bit too rough for my taste and some bristle paper tends to be a little too smooth to hold the charcoal for my taste as well. But um, whatever you guys feel comfortable on working on is good enough in my opinion as long as it's not just a uh, newsprint. Newsprint doesn't last very long. You want your drawings to last to hold value. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions or any things that you guys want to see me do in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe. You guys are the best. See ya.